Hello guys. So in today's video, I'm going to explain how to set up and create a EMR cluster. If you have seen my previous video, I have been working on a project with PySpark and large data sets. So EMR clusters let us run Spark jobs on multiple machines, making data processing faster and easier. So let's dive into setting up and starting an EMR cluster. So first log into your AWS console and then go to EMR. So this is the dashboard for the EMR console. Then select create cluster. When you see, there are several configurations here. So let's go over each one step by step to set it up. Let's first give the name for our cluster. Then we have the re release version. Uh, let's uh, go with the latest EMR version, which would which is compatible with the Spark. That so this ensures that you get the latest features and performance improvements for the Spark. I'm selecting 7.3.0. Then we have applications. Here, there you can see there are various uh, options. So since I need Spark, that's why I'm selecting uh, Spark Interactive, which is already selected by default. Then we have to configure the hardware. Here's where we specify the cluster's power and how many instances we need, what would be the instance type, inst instance type and all. For test or development purposes, you can start with a smaller instance type like M M m5.x large but for larger jobs choose the instances based on the complexity of your spark workload for now i'm just going with the options which are already selected by default then you can see there are various configurations here we have bootstrap action so bootstrap actions let us run custom scripts where uh, custom scripts when the cluster starts so this can be helpful for setting up libraries or custom environment settings for now i'm just keeping it blank i'm not adding any uh, file to it file to it then we have security configurations and ec2 care ec2 key pair so select an ec2 key pair to allow ssh access to the cluster this is optional but useful if you plan to log in to the master node i have already created a pair for it if you don't have a key pair then here you here you can see your option to create a key pair you can create it and then you can select it here later here we then we have iam rules so this also you have to create it first and then you can see the option in the drop down uh, for this uh, here i have already created earlier so let's go with that and now since we have selected all the mandatory fields now let's click on create cluster oh no here they're asking to select us again okay choose an existing instance profile if you don't have then just go with the create an instance profile s3 bucket if you want to give access to the bucket which is in, in your s3 then you can specify the url here for now i'm keeping it blank let's see okay so it is allowing me to create the cluster let's wait for a few seconds for it to get created as you can see if i refresh okay 
the cluster is in the status as starting let's refresh again okay after a few seconds or few after one or two minutes here we get an option to connect using ssh so let's wait for that till then what we can do is let's go to ec2 and let's set up the ip address let's go for the master node and here in the inbound rules edit and go down here we have to add a rule select ssh custom and custom instead of custom just select my ip then save mm. already exist let me go and check okay let me delete this and again try to save it yeah it's saved let's go back to the cluster okay so here i'm getting an option connect to the primary node using ssh so let's open that and here it gives you the steps to start your emr uh, to start your cluster so cluster is created but you have to start it so since I have Mac. I'll follow these steps. So open terminal. So my key pair dot my dot pem file is already like I have already downloaded it and it is in downloads folder. So just go and do the folder whichever you have saved it so then you have to just paste this command uh, okay yes mm. okay wait i think there is some issue with the path let me try to change that. Let me try giving the whole path of dot pem file. Okay, yeah. So this is how the EMR cluster is started. So yeah, that's it. Now you guys know how to set up and start a EMR cluster to run the Spark jobs on the AW on AWS. EMR is powerful for handling large data sets and distributing heavy processing tasks, making it ideal for the projects like no stress analysis. Uh, thank you for watching my videos. And if you have any questions, any concerns, any queries, just mention it in the comment section. I'll happy, I'll be happy to clear them. Thank you.